Hello YouTube and welcome to the Mobile One Cup Series Season 1 Race 5 here at the newly added track to the schedule, the Great Clips 200 at the Clip Clips Raceway. This is a brand new track. It was just made so it's sparkly new over the years. It will get very dull and uh, newish like. And we're just going to go ahead and show you a little through our field. And we'll see all the patriotic paint schemes today. As today, we race to support our troops. So remember those who lost their lives on 9-11. And our veterans who fight every day for us. No veterans, no freedom. So here we are. This is the Great Clips 200. And see the American flags on both sides. And... And as you can see, the Hendrick boys started the back of the pack today. Dale Jr. is 18th. Casey Kane is 16th. Jeff Gordon is 15th. And Jimmy Johnson is 13th. So, we'll see how that plays out. Now, now people to watch for in the race. A um, man who needs a good run. Scott Speed in that 95 car. I'll tell you, he has had one up and down season. He's got through so many reps this year, I can't even explain it. And not to mention in practice one, fastest, practice two, third fastest, and qualifying fastest. He's on the pole for today's race. He might be able to, I don't know, maybe he'll be able to take one home today. He really desperately needs a good run. Also, the man in the Miller Lite Dodge is Brad Keselowski. He starts fourth today. He has an absolutely amazing patriotic car. And he he was very good. In practice one, he only ran a couple laps, and they weren't that good. Practice two, he improved it. So he becomes second. And then after that, qualifying went his way. He starts fourth. Another man to watch out for as we go through the pack is Jimmy Johnson. He is really good at these short tracks. This is only a mile speedway. And it almost like Talladega because that's the trail that's the middle of the trail. Where's the start finish line? It's down there. Short track Talladega. Anyways back to Jimmy Johnson. He likes short track race tracks. He's won at them many times before and I think he wants to get another win. Hungry as he starts in the back of the pack, 13th today. Watch for him as we are about ready to get started, and we'll show you the starting lineup. Here we go. In row one is the number 95 of Tyler Speed, and the number 47 of Brian Thome. Row number two, starting third, is the number six of Eddie Jones, and starting fourth is the number two of Justin Morris. Row number three has the 16 of Dan Scorpion's 13, and starting to his outside in sixth position is David Vickers. Starting in seventh with that big American flag on his car is NASCAR fan 403, and to his outside is Trey Normile. Row five has the number 17 of Carl Harvick, and the number 22 of Maxwell Vady. Starting in 11th is the number one car of Tate Schofield and the number 51 of Stephen Bush. You will find last week's winner starting 13th, Anthony M. Murray, which is outside Claude Speed. Behind them is a set of Hendrick Motors, number 24, Phil Jones, and the number 5 of Michael Jeter. And Michael Jeter has not been commenting. I know he changed his account and made a new one, but I don't know if he closed that one again. He hasn't been commenting, I already let him know, so if he doesn't comment under this race, this will be the la the five's last race. The next season, it will be an open car. Coming out the field in 17th place is number 14 of Zach Carlson, and another Hendrick car in 18th place is Jim Heffer. Waiting for the cars to roll off here, that is your field. A little keys to the race, key number one. This is a short track, so the low line is a place to be. Uh, if, you, if I was you, low line is where you want to be, but do not pass below the yellow line, even though it is a very tiny apron. Key number two, this is not pit road. That is kind of like like a road, so you can get uh, out of the wrecks. If you, they clog up right there, you can just go right through there. And that is not pit road. If you want to change the tires, it will cost you because you will 
automatically go a lap down and it will be hard to change your tires because you have to leave the track. And next, number three, is watch out for the tricky backstretch. It may look flat, but it's actually got some banking. It has a very slight amount of banking, and that banking, when you're on the high side, it'll launch you right off the corner. So be careful if you're in between the flat and the banking. Prepare to get mega loose if you're if you're entering the corner. And that has been the Great Clips key to the race. This is also a nine lap race. So be calm and wait for the end to make your move. You will have time because the start finish line is not where it should be. So we're just about ready to start getting rolling off. And thank you for paying attention to the Great Clips keys of the race.